main singles final of the Yonex All England Open Championships. Between, on my right, Huala Gopachan, India. On my left, Chen Hong, China. Chen Hong to serve. Love all. Play. Chen Hong getting this final underway. And I'm delighted to say that with me in the commentary box, I now have 10 times national champion Darren Hall. And Taryn, you and I watched those semi-finals last night. Gopi Chan played brilliantly against Peter Gader. There's no question of that. Thoroughly deserved the victory. But I'm just wondering about Cheng Hong's marathon match and how much that will have taken out of him. Is it going to affect him for today's final? I think so. He played for an hour and 52 minutes. Horrendous pace. It was unbelievable how he kept it up for an hour and 52 minutes. But Gopi Chan knows this. I think he's going to be trying to extend the rallies to make... Chen Hong move the distance of the court as much as he can. Yes, yeah, certainly yesterday as we were leaving our commentary position, we could see Chen Hong down on the arena floor. He had people around him, physios in attendance. It looked as if he was about, if not already, suffering from cramp. That's a nervous looking shot. One, Just talking two. about the qualities though of Gopi Chand, he's a very deceptive player. He has this wonderful stroke production. You never know which shot is coming. Exactly, Jill. And when he played Peter Gader, he Peter Gader is so fast at anticipating the shots, but he held him so Peter couldn't move before Gopi Chand had hit the shot. Again with the Chinese, very fast. But with Gopi Chand, he holds them. They're not sure if he's going to play a net shot or a flick over the head, so they can't anticipate him. So over, two, one. So in, in your opinion, which player is favourite in your mind? In my mind, on Gopi Chan's form, I think Gopi Chan. Um, obviously, Chen Hong, massive match last night. I think he'll struggle to recover from that. Service over. And presumably, one, because two. this is such a big match for both players, it's it's the mental side of it as well who's got the mental toughness who can cope with the big occasion yeah as I, as I was walking along here Jill, I, I saw Gopi Chan and literally he was meditating you know 10 minutes before the game you could see he was really focused on this event it's a little bit nervy start from both players but it's such a big occasion for them A wonderful drop shot. Over, Again, this is where Gopi Chan's strengths one. are. He gets behind the shuttle nice. You don't know where he's going to hit it. And plays a fantastic drop shot. Beats Chen Hong with a clear winner. Service over. One, two. But as we see there, Chen Hong has got great strokes of his own. But I think when, what Chen Hong's got to do, he's got to try and cut the rallies down, look for his win try and get the lift because he does have a very good smash. Two, uh, certainly in his semi-final match yesterday, Gopi Chand hardly made an error and yet already in this final we've seen several. Yeah, I think it's the start, it's his first All England final. Um, it's going to take him a little while to settle down. As we can see, he's made a, a few little unforced errors which he never made yesterday. But I suppose Three, we ought to two. also recognise that Cheng Hong yesterday started very quickly. It was 10-3 up in the opening game and then lost it 15-10. So he does start well, but whether he can maintain that or not is in question. Yes, exactly, Jill. He's, you know, obviously he'll be hoping for two sets. I think he'll really be pushing himself, looking for the winners. He doesn't want these rallies to go on and on. Service over, two, three.
just long. Three all. Decision. As we see here, Gopichan is not sure, it goes to lead, but it's well in. Great point by Gopi Chan there. Again, we see the deception at the net. He holds him. Chen Hong moves in. At the last moment, flicks. It is a bit of a nervy start by both men, isn't it? Yes, you can see, you know, even their movement's not quite flowing at the moment. Five, three. Yes, we see here, you know, Gopi Chan yesterday, he was so good around the net, but even then, it, it, it looks very tight with his shots. is going to be in this match is it the net play if Gopi Chan can really start playing the sort of touch at the net that he was showing yesterday then then that's got to favor him yeah definitely Jill he, he was playing so good around the net yesterday he was getting the short lefts and then he could use his deception from overhead just like as we see there but at the moment Gopi Chan is he's Six, making these unforced three. errors which you know in the previous rounds he hasn't been making you know, it's a fairly simple shot but as you see, he looks very tight with the racket. It's not flowing at the moment. Oh, that's called cool. good. Seven, and even his three. judgment has gone at the moment. Perfect length from Cheng Hong hitting the back line. As you hear after each rally now, Jill, Gopi Chan trying to psych himself up, trying to get himself going.
Yes, perhaps beginning to settle a little more. A lot more positive in that rally. He's driving at Cheng Hon. He's looking for it. And he's not waiting for the shuttle to come to him. Oh, he's missed it. The hold and flick. Six, seven. Chen Hong plays a good smash. Gopi Chan just scrapes it back. It was a right shot, but too close to the line. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Good. Chen Hong leaps up, six. smashes. Gopi Chan's backhand. Well, what did you think? I'm not sure about that one. Well, the line judges can't be overruled in badminton. Decision must stand. Ah, uh, that's good stuff from Pilela Gopi Chan. That's where we see Gopi Chan at his best. He's played in there, backs off a little bit, rack it up, knocks it off. This is what Chen Hong will be looking for, the quick rallies. Chinese players are very good at, at shortening the rallies because they've got such good angles. And explosive power. And it's, it's the movement as well as the, the power with the racket, isn't it, with the Chinese? Exactly, Jill. You know, if Gopi Jan does scrape his racket, Chen Hong's so fast in on the net to knock the next one off. Noticed already in this match, Darren, several times Cheng Eight, Hong has been playing six. that reversed smash across court down Gopi Chan's backhand side, and he's he's got advantage from it. Yes, definitely. Early on in the game, Jill, he was clearing Gopi Chan's forehand, and now in the middle of the game, he's changed his angles, he's, he's taking the attack down Gopi Chan's backhand, and it's doing the trick at the moment. He's trying to mix the game up a little bit. Well, a sign of the commitment Nine, from Gopi Chand. But he had started to move in the wrong direction. It's a great deception from Chen Hong there at the net. So I think for once Gopi Chand getting a little bit of his own medicine. Tang Xian Hu, coach to the Chinese singles players. Next to him, Li Yongbo, who's the head coach to the Chinese squad. Oh, it's been called good again. Ten, As we six. see here, Jill, he's using the same tactic for about the last four points, and it's absolutely, well, again, very, very close, but going his way at the moment. just doesn't look the same player as we saw Eleven, yesterday in his semi-final against Peter Gaeta. No, I mean, these unforced errors, he never made any yesterday. You know, he was focused, he was looking for it. He just seems to be a little bit holding back, a little bit tight. I think it's the occasion at the moment. Yeah. It's interesting what you were telling me about seeing him actually Eleven. meditating before the match. Because you were telling me yesterday when you felt the nerves, you did an extra vigorous warm-up and running up and down the hall so that you were really lively for the match. He obviously likes to prepare in a totally different way. Yes, that's right. He seems to be much calmer when he goes on the court. Um, but at the moment, you know, he has started a little bit negative, a little bit slow. Um, he's tried to, to get himself going in, in, in the middle of the match, but he's just a little bit he's, he's struggling with himself at the moment. As we see, Chen Hong, he gets the opening, he goes to the right shot down the line. I think Gopi Chan said it was out before it hit the floor, so he's, uh, he don't want any of them other calls to go against him. 
course, the players shouldn't be trying to influence the line judges. Well, he's right back in it now. I think what Chen Hong's doing at the moment, he seems to be playing in patches. So he'll have three or four points where he's very attacking, three or four points where he's just sort of He's playing softer badminton. I'm sure in a minute, Jill, we'll see him going all out again. Fantastic rally there from both players, Jill. But I really do think uh, that will do Gokhi Chan's confidence some good. That's just the sort of rally he needs. He's been moving Chen Hong the distances of the court. I think that Gopichand has actually settled more and that's making the difference. He's, he's moving, he's, he's flowing easier, Jill. He looks, he's looking more alert. He's looking for the shuttle now at the oh. net. So it's over 11-9. Really taking that backhand far too late. wasn't even close. It really wasn't, Joe. It's so uncharacteristic of Gopi Chan. Here we see, not that much under pressure, but in the middle of the net. The problem is when you're nervous, the, the tension in the arm, and especially the forearm, and, and when you're trying to play those delicate, precise shots, that's what goes first. Exactly. You've, you've got to be relaxed. You've got to feel you know, like it's all flowing, but when your arm's tense and you're all tight and it's, you know, it's, it's a big occasion, it's, it's very hard to get rid of it. Brilliant net play. You know, here we see Gopi Chan at his best. A beautiful spinning net shot, just clipping the top of the tape. If it does come back, he's ready. Opening game. Oh, that's a good rally. And Darren, you're absolutely right. Now, Gopi Chan is beginning to really make the net shots tell and it's affecting the whole rally. That's right, it, it, it's changing the whole pace of the game and this is what he needs to do, Jill. Yeah. Well, the clear was woefully short. As you see, very short there, Jill, leaving a big gap down the backhand.
Chen Hong, proving that he too can hit the neck boards on the spinning net shots. As we see here, again, carbon copy of Gopi Chan's net shot. You know, I think really at the moment it's who's going to play the net better that's going to, you know, take their opportunities there. very close but I think it was a correct call yes indeed it was there's Chen Hong really commanding that rally a great rally we see him leap up the here get two explosive matches smashes change direction with a clear into Gopi Chan's backhand getting a short lift and look how quick he is on the net service fault called Liz Keir from Denmark, the service judge. There she is, racket head too high, she said. And I tend to agree with her. Oh, it's landed in. What a great serve from Gopi Chan. From 6-11 down at one stage, he's fought his way back. It's 12 all. Yeah! Well, the next shot was so tight. Just to see Gopi Chan here. He comes in. Look how tight that is over net. No chance to knock it off there. Chen Hong. You know, he's made the, the last four very easy points for himself. So it's game points for Gopi Chand. Absolutely delighted with their players' performance in that opening game. Well, Joe, I don't know if that's a sign of tiredness, but Chen Hong was 12-10 up. He tried the drive serve. He got faulted. He left the serve. He hit two smashes from the net from Gopi Chan's serve. And, uh, you know, at that stage in the game, I, I really think it is a sign of tiredness with Chen Hong now. So, Gopi Chan, the first game, 15-12 in 24 minutes. Play. Oh, another serve landing plumb on the back line. And the Chinese coach. What a wonderfully constructed rally from Gopi Chan. Great play. As you look, to look at the deception at the net. It looks like he's going to flick off. He plays back to net, enabling him for the short lift for the winner down the line. You know, I really think Gopi Chan is going to grow in confidence. He'll be delighted with getting the first game in the bag. Chen Hong mentally to come back after being 12-10 up. 
He knows he's got to win two more games. He's going to get this title. Very tough for him now, Jill. Yeah, so when your opponent is serving like that, the two points he's won in this game have been serves that have landed on the back line. That's gone wide. And Darren, you were saying at the end of that first game that you were worried about the fatigue with Chen Hong. I'm now very concerned about his mental strength right now, or lack of it. Yeah, exactly, Joe. I, I don't think he believes he can do it now. He just can't raise his game, that extra pace with what he needs to. Chose the flick serve. Didn't work on that occasion, but he does mix it up well. Always changing ideas. That's gone wide. He's really making Chen Hong work. He's punching him in the corners, bringing him to the net. Chen Hong's looking for a way out the rally, looking to hit the lines. Well, a couple of times he's missed a shot and then immediately looks up to the lights. And the same lighting system has been here throughout the championships but I do wonder perhaps because we've just got one court now in the center of this arena no other lighting apart from on the center court and maybe that's just slightly different to the conditions he's been used to for the rest of the championships Chen Hong this time, trying to mix it up, pulling Goku Jan down the backhand side. Again, with some set, with success with the smash. Two, four. Oh, he took that one much later. So much more difficult to play an accurate net shot. It's well played by Cheng Hong. Scrapes the smash back. Gopi Chan looking, looking too tight to the lines, you know, really he should be more patient, giving himself a margin for error. from both players but my god how Gopi Chan make Chen Hong work there literally it was one to the back one to the net in the end Chen Hong slice drop hits us right on the line
there was me doubting Chen Hong's resolve at the beginning of this second game. I thought perhaps he was struggling mentally. And he had such a tough semi-final last night. But my goodness, he's fought his way back in. He's in the lead. Yeah. He doesn't seem to have the consistency of some of the really top players and by that I mean the world number ones. He's world number 12 or seeded 12 here at the All England. He's got to improve on that. If he wants to move up the rankings, he's got to become a little more consistent throughout the entirety of the game. Yes, I mean, he's, as we all know, he's very capable. When he's on his game, you know, he could beat anyone. But it's just these small little unforced errors that he's making that he's, that he's losing the matches that perhaps he should be winning by now. Chan tried to cross it in there, just hits it out the side. Chen Hong of China trying to become the fourth Chinese men's singles winner of the All England Championships in five years. It is a testament to the strength in depth from China. I'm forced there from Gopi Chan there. And Darren, despite the fact that it would appear to be in the early stages of this second game, 5 all, I feel it's a crucial moment. If one player could really take hold of this match, they'd run away with it right now. Absolutely, Joe. I think it's a very important stage. 5 all, it's going back and forth. I think one player has really got to try and make that break. lift from the net from Gopichan. Very good net. Both players looking to play the net. Chen Hong coming in, looking for the top of the tape, but just pulls back his side. Yeah. And finally the deadlock is broken. Yes, Gopi Chan just stretching out, getting his racket to it. Chen Hong not quick enough to the net there. Well, it was a much flatter clear. And therefore drifting along of that back line. Chen Hong not ready. I'll replay the points. Yes, as we said, Jill, from 5-all, three reasonably quick points to 
Chen Hong's got to get himself together. He's got to dig deep now. Terrible indecision from Chen Hong. I'm sure he was initially going to leave it. I think, Chen, forward. I think Chen Hong thought he'd hit a winner there, but somehow Gobi Chen just got it back. He never was coming over the net. So five quick points now for Gulela Gopichand. <laughs> Chen Hong here doing what he can to break up the rhythm. Umpire Ian Spear was quite adamant that whilst the court was being mopped, the players should not have a drink, not towel down. Just wide. Time's over, five, ten. Ah, oh, that is tremendous. What a smash. If we look at this duel, he's been dropping, he's been clearing, but out of the blue, he produces a power smash like that. Chen. It's, it's not given away an inch at the net. Yes. And desperation now from Chen Hong. Chen Hong trying everything. He hits a smash. He tries. He's just not quite there early enough. Five all position and we were saying if one player could really get a grasp of it now and take the game to his opponent could break away Gopi Chand has certainly done that when you consider that previously in the All England Gunella Gopi Chand has never got past the last 16 this is incredible here he is just Three points away from the All England title. A great smash down the line from Gopi Chan, anticipating the return and coming in and knocking off. Spinning net shot. It's a great play by Gopi Chan now. He can really sense that title.
Well, he's not finished yet, Ching Hong. Played a great rally there. Pulling Gopi Chan out of position. Clear winner down the line. You know, I think he's giving it a last shot at it now. Great shot there. A little bit of a short lift from Goppy Jan, but again, that smash down the backhand side. Yes, he's made so many winners from that shot to today. Chain. He, he gets a lift. I think wins the point on a yes on a net call. Very lucky there. Yeah, I wonder what on earth is going through Goku Chan's mind. Trying to keep calm and to keep focused. Two tantalizing points for the title. As we see here, set up by the spinning net shot. Match point. tournament that the number 10 seed, number 10 ranked player in the world would finish the week as men's singles champion but he's played with such composure he's played with such great skill a masterful tactician and now the crowning glory of all England champion The final lasting 44 minutes and the coaching staff <laughs> show their delight as their man lifts the title keeping his record throughout this championship winning all of his matches in two straight games the final score 15-12 15-6 Ladies and gentlemen, to the next.